Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the top five improvements Le Mans Ultimate need to make to improve the user experience. Now also if you guys want to catch me playing Le Mans Ultimate you can catch me streaming it live on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7.30pm that's UK time but anyway guys let's get stuck into the video. The first change I'd love to see in Le Mans Ultimate is sort of more information on the grip level and the MFD so when you go into races um, you can tell what the actual track grip level is sort of like what we have on ACC when you know whether it's optimum fast or green um, there is different grip levels on Le Mans Ultimate there is I believe there's light medium saturated heavy so you know going into races sometimes you actually know what the grip level is and it can cause crashes the next thing I'd love to see in Le Mans Ultimate is a better or a damage indicator I say better but there isn't really a damage indicator in the game and sometimes when you've been hit you generally don't even realize how bad it is until you go to turn in and then the car just completely just loses it and um, it happened to me in this race as well i got tapped um on the rear of the car and it didn't feel that bad but as soon as i went to turn into the next corner and accelerate the back end just literally swapped swapped ends on me so you know something that i kind of feel like all sim games should have just a little damage indicator just so you know you know what damage you're working with how bad it is um acc is one not really that great it kind of gives you just how long the pit stop is so it gives you like you know you know you've got eight seconds worth of damage or whatever but i believe that maybe they should have like a like a little radar that shows maybe like the original set of course where it shows you know the rear of the car's damage or the side or what, something like that anyway but something that just tells us that you know we know we've got a bit of damage because apart from the steering wheel being bent or the steering wheel feeling a little bit light there is really no nothing that tells you that your car is um indeed needing needing to pit you know so um i'd like to see that implemented and hopefully there's something they bring in the future next i think we we can all agree the start procedure needs a little bit of work sometimes you can literally just get disqualified for things that are just not your fault now i don't know whether it's like a, a glitch in the game or whatever but there's been numerous times when I've literally got a penalty or got disqualified for absolutely nothing. I think the other day I ended up getting a drive through for, for speeding and I was literally on the pit limiter um, at the start of the race and I literally had no idea why I got the penalty. I was on the speed limiter, I was behind the, re the sort of red marker and penalty. I wasn't even like ahead of the guy that was starting on pole. And literally just ruined the race before i even got it started so definitely a thing that i think that most people can agree with we've all seen the videos online where people have just been dq'd or you know had crazy penalties at the start of the race for things that are just outside their control you know so hopefully that's something that gets sorted out i think most people know that's a little bit of an issue but um on to the next one now i'm not too sure how useful this next one will be but i personally think this game needs a in-game reporting system where you can report someone who is just being ridiculous online we've all you know played against guys that literally just slam into you or slam into everybody ruin everybody's race and they just don't care you know and unless you're gonna like save the video go into the discord upload you know some people don't want to do all that if there was like an in-game reporting system like there is for instance on call of duty if you find or you think someone that's cheating now we don't know how often you know people are going to look at these things but i feel like it's better than always having to you know save footage go back record upload it somewhere else and then go post it in the discord and you know sometimes it can be a bit much sometimes it's just easier especially if a lot of people are reporting the same person and it tends to be someone who's quite problematic so i would like to see something like that just to make all of our lives a little bit easier um again we don't know how easy that would be on the back end of things but i, I do think it's a good idea to have some sort of reporting system to get the dirty guys out and maybe punish them so they can improve their behavior in the future now i saved the one that i think is the best one to last and probably the one that is easiest to implement for me personally i believe the daily races they need to sort of add more variety in terms of weather conditions in terms of you know time time of day because i've yet to do a night race on le mans ultimate um of course if you're doing the longer races you'll end up maybe doing night races or from you know day to night or whatever but the best 
daily race I did was the one with the Aston Martin around Algarve where the conditions would change um, during the race. So basically what would happen was is it would go from, it would start off dry, then it would go wet and then it would go dry again at the end and it was so much more challenging and I just feel like they need to add more races like that. Just not the generic dry 25 minute race sometimes make it be a night race i've yet literally yet to do a night race on this game and i've obviously i've done it in single player mode and it actually looks amazing so i'm not quite sure why none of the daily races are ever at night but i feel like you could you know throughout the day just randomize the conditions and stuff like that just to make it more interesting you could do you know a daily race you know a couple times of couple times a day that the tire wears like times two times three and you might have to run hard or you might have to think about a pit stop or you know it starts off dry and then you get a torrential downpour halfway through everyone's got a pit just randomize things make it a little bit more fun because obviously if you've only got you know a couple of tracks for the whole week so it can get stale if you're just doing the exact same thing all week long you've only literally got two tracks to choose from so pretty much you know especially if you're doing like the the um the amateur races or the intermediate races mix it up a little bit man make it a little bit more fun um make it a little bit more engaging and then add a little bit of strategy to it or whatnot and i'm sure you know people will appreciate the races even more it will make it a lot more interesting and it makes for better content for all the content creators that are on the game trying to push the game forward trying to get the game out there to people that may be on the fence whether they want to buy it or not because obviously we know how much competition is going to be coming with AC Evo, which looks amazing, I can't even lie. So um, for me personally, I do believe they can sort of push the envelope a little bit forward and um, try and randomise our, our daily races a little bit just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I've got a couple of honourable mentions and my first one would be a penalty indicator for other drivers. So you know like on ACC when someone's got a 5 second penalty, 10 second or stop go 30 or a dt it shows up on the mfd um and you can kind of see the cars around you who's got a penalty or something like that i'd like to see something like that in lmu because the amount of times that someone might have a drive through at the beginning of the race or something like that and you don't know but these guys will be racing you to the ends of the earth you know giving you side damage rear damage all sorts of damage and you know you could literally just chill if you know that they have a penalty you know you won't have to race them as hard because you kind of know they're going to be a non-factor in a couple of laps and just something that i'd like to see put forward um i mean if they didn't it wouldn't be the end of the world but i do think it definitely helps your mentality while racing guys who have penalties because you know that you know their race is going to be or their competitive race is going to be cut short as soon as they take their penalty and it's happened to me a lot of times where I get a penalty right at the start of the race, sometimes for no reason. But then, you know, people will be racing me super hard thinking that, you know, the race is on. And I'm just thinking, bro, I'm just trying to get away so I can take my drive through and still try and salvage something of my race. But, you know, not something that is like crazy important, which is why I never put it in my top five. Um, but something that maybe could be looked at in the future. My next honorable mention is probably not that important, but for me, it just aesthetically just looks nice and it's kind of satisfying. But when someone sets a fastest lap, you know, I want to see that fastest lap show up on screen. You know how it does in F1 or even if you've got any of those third party apps that you can use for games like ACC and stuff like that. When someone sets a fastest lap, it shows up like duh, 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 it's just set the fastest lap. I'd kind of like to see something like that in the Mons Open, man. I think it will be pretty cool, especially if you're... You know, say you've managed to get get into the lead of a race or someone who was really fast got took out at, at turn one or made a mistake and then all of a sudden you see faster slap after faster slap, you're getting hunted down, stuff like that. I feel like it makes it a little bit cool. But um, again, it's not that big a deal, which again is why I didn't have it in my top five. But just little things like that, man. But guys, tell me what would be your top five things for Le Mans Ultimate to improve, to make the game better. Um, for me, that's my top five at the moment. Again, a lot of the game to me is very, very good, man. And the things that I'm saying, I don't feel like are that deep or, you know, that hard to implement. So hopefully we do get some of these small changes that I feel will make quite, quite, quite a good positive um, impact on the game. But guys, tell me in the comment section below what you would want to see change. Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. 
and peace.